Hi guys, welcome back for another video for Capital City Pop. My name's Chris. I'm Melissa. And we are here to do a challenge that DK the Legendary Collector has challenged us once again to this challenge called the Funko Ultimate Team Challenge, which is a new one that he created, created. himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he created himself. It's pretty cool. So, who's going first? You know this answer. It's always me. Yeah. See? She's yeah. a good wife. She knows, she knows, she knows what I want. <laughs> You're funny. All right, so the first two members of my team, you, it's four people or more you can pick. So I had decided to go double, and so did she. So I started with these two, which is Captain America and Iron Man. Even though they are fighting with each other in this one, I thought it was perfect because, hey, why not show off the best pop of versions of that, that I have of them? Yeah, can't speak. I don't know what's going on. It is late. It is pretty late. It's past midnight. And then, I don't want to pick him just yet. I want to pick the Flash. I picked the Flash because super speed. He can go back in time. He can run really quick. You know, speed of light almost. Yeah. So, he'd be a really good one to use in speed and going back in time just in case somebody dies. I stuff. would have chose him. So. But I didn't because he did. Meh. And then, I picked Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man can keep his distance, web people up, and he has super strength as well, and agility and whatnot. He can jump around, get the enemy. Would have chose him too, but he did. Oh, well. <laughs> but I have some interesting choices. Mm -hmm. And then I have two from My Hero Academia. I have All Might, as he has uh, the power Quirk. Quirk is like mutant powers uh, for one for all. And uh, I thought he was a really good one because if you watch the series, you understand how powerful he can be. Oh, it shows him two good choices, I Chris. know, I know. <laughs> and then this is a little bit of an obscure one because he is young and he's a student, but his name's Deku. He's the main character of the series. I picked him not on his strength alone. I picked him on his intellect and his uh, willingness to prepare before battles and learning people's weaknesses and whatnot, so I thought he'd be a good one. Which is also kind of why I picked Iron Man as well, because Iron Man has that, uh, the veteran experience, he has the experience, um, the tech to go along with his stuff, I forgot to mention that. But yeah, very, very cool. And then, obviously, you know, I had to pick some Dragon Ball. So, first of all, I picked Goku. I could have picked Vegito, um, but I feel like... Vegeta's pride would get in the way, so I didn't want to pick Vegeta on that. He doesn't work very well with others unless he's under, like, tremendous, like... Like, life or death. Yeah, so... That's why I picked Ultra Instinct Goku, because it's also the ultimate form of Goku. Uh, basically, in this form, he can move without thinking, like, his body and whatnot, so... It's, like, effortless. Yeah, effortless in his, yeah, in his pursuit of power. So, and then this is a little different because you wouldn't think I would pick somebody like this, but it's great to have some, you know, magic in the air. And uh, I picked Shenron because they could wish for any sort of wish they want pretty much besides what is out of his power reach. So that's my team. I picked Shenron, I picked Goku, I picked Captain America Iron Man. All Might, Deku, The Flash, and Spider-Man. I think it would be an awesome team to go against the ultimate so villain. So, now it's your turn. Hmm. Where do I begin? This is an interesting one. Um, we will see. So, I picked, since we don't have Superman, Supergirl! Yeah. Yeah. Because she is very strong and invincible, basically. You know, Except if you have kryptonite. The green stuff. Yeah. Is the it green. called It's kryptonite. Yeah. Yeah. Supergirl. Okay. Supergirl. Then I picked. Another DC character. Is it? Yes. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Pew, oh, pew, pew, I think some goes with Chris gave me this one. <laughs> When we, when yeah, we yeah, you started. won that off of uh, Focus with Chris. Well, when you first started with me. Yeah, no, I didn't yeah. win it. He sent, just sent it to us. Yeah, he sent it to us because he liked Thank our you. channel. So. And 
yeah, love her. She's and cool. she is very powerful and strong, and I think yeah. they would work really well together, the yeah. two of them. Plus, this box is amazing. The shine on it, like it's like gold. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I don't. I've never seen a pop like that box. I'm gonna like go that. in a weird order. Okay. So another powerful female. You guys know I like Sailor Moon, right? Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't choose Sailor Moon because she's a crybaby and she never really wanted to be Sailor Moon in the first place. <laughs> but I haven't seen this. Series. Who has a strong personality and is really good and could shoot fireballs. Fireballs. Sailor Mars. Yep. She's in a protector because apparently she's gone up a little bit. Yeah, I didn't want to get wrecked either. Yeah. So I did that myself because I care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think she would work well with them as well. Yeah. Next. Who's next? I don't know. Which one should I do next? I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. You. <Ew>. So. <laughs> Getting over a cold. Yeah. <laughs> the next one. You're going to be surprised, actually. <laughs> Vibe. Vibe. Because he can, he's awesome. And he can open up portals. He can work, open up portals. And he's so really smart. Like, super, super smart. Super smart, yeah. And he can shoot, like, like, pulse blasts and stuff like that. So... He's got he's got a lot of different things he can do. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, like with everything. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't pick one thing. Exactly. If I could have picked the flash, I would have picked it with him. Because I got the flash. <laughs> <laughs> Next, this is a different two. I got Thor. Yeah. Because he has got a thunder. He's the god of thunder. And he got he has both hammer and axe there. So he's got two powerful weapons they can use. He is so. very strong. Yep. And he got and super strength, yeah. He's in a good form here. <laughs> and he can electrocute people, but both. Yeah. So. And me and Chris fought alike a little bit here. Yeah. I picked Genie. Because he has three wishes. So yeah. Just like Shenron, you can, you can grant wishes too. But that's why she picked Genie, because, you know, wish granting as well. Yeah. Good to have. You never know. Somebody dies, you need to wish them back or something. Well, I guess he can't wish people back from the dead, but he can. So that's why I picked him. Well, you might need something that you don't have in the moment. That's true. Or... Yeah. You always you know. want some magic on your team, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always good to have some magic. Magic, magic. Mm-hmm. And then I also picked... Because at one point in the series... He is the strongest. Yeah. But he, let's put it this way. If he if he didn't put off his training at this level, he would be the most powerful character in Dragon Ball Z. He would. And yeah. I really like the character. Yeah. Gohan. Super Gohan. Saiyan 2 Gohan. Yeah. Yeah. This is what he looks like when he fights in the Cell Saga. In the Cell Games. And that's... He's even stronger than Goku at that point. He's dead. Yeah. So... And I just love the character development with him. Yeah. Like. Even when he's an adult, even though yeah. he hasn't been training, he's different. and he He's still strong. Yeah. And can hold, even though he didn't train. Yeah. So imagine if he would have trained. Exactly. How powerful he would be in my team. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And last but not least, this is going to shock you a little bit too. He, he was a villain before. Brad's going to like this one. Yeah. But he was a villain before. He, he was a, a villain. Yeah. But he became a he he got on the good side with the with the what the Super Saiyans. You mean the the Z Warriors? The Z Warriors. Yeah, that's why it's called Dragon Ball Z. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I didn't know that. To be honest with you, I really didn't. I don't know. I don't know. You're the the super fan. Yeah. <laughs> you watched all the episodes. I chose. Mash it, boo! Boo, eat you up. <laughs> yeah. So he can turn people into candy. He can regenerate. He's, he can take tons of damage. He's, and he's super strong. Okay, let me talk. What? Let me talk. I'm telling you why I chose him, not why you chose him. I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't chose him. I was just helping. Yeah. So his body is like jello. Yeah. And 
Like, he's very, very powerful. He can eat you and turn you into candy at the same time. I said that. Yeah, but I <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. Silly. Anyways, love him. And at one point, when he is good, he, he gets super fit, so he's not, like, big. And super, yeah. And he's pretty strong. Yeah, so. he even gets stronger. So, yeah. Boo trains, like, Boo gets strong. Mm-hmm. And another point that you didn't say what? <laughs> was, if you're Boo's friend, he protects you. Yeah, he's loyal to his he's friends. He's very loyal. Like Hercule and, and the doggy. Yeah. I forgot the dog's name. And yeah. if you hurt his, if you hurt his friends, he you're, gets mad. He gets super mad, and, and that's where he he boils up. And his, steam comes out. Steam of comes head. out of his head, and yeah. he just. And you're done. You're done. You're done. Yep. We'll eat you up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's my team, mm-hmm. and that's his team. Yeah. And together, it is the ultimate team. Yeah, we got 16 characters on our team. Beat that, everybody else. <laughs> so this time Chris is gonna challenge people. People, yeah. he's gonna do differently. So I've been part of this group called Spread the Love on Instagram, and I've met a lot of new people through Rob Molina. So first person I'm gonna be challenging is Rob Molina to this challenge. I love your videos. I love that you can make puns out of anything. Uh, I love the comments you leave on our videos. So I have to challenge you. I don't know why we haven't challenged you before because I really appreciate you and I really respect you. And you're very well in detail with everything you do video wise. You explain everything perfectly. I think it's you're a great YouTuber and I hope you, the best to you in the future. So Rob Molina, challenge him. You'll see his uh, channel in the link down below. Go subscribe to him if you haven't subscribed. Yeah, um, he's a very punny guy. Yeah. And then there's two other channels that I met because of Rob, which is one is Pop Solology. With uh, Justin Moore and his wife that just had a baby girl. Oh, very So nice. congrats to you guys. Congrats. I'm saying in the video, go check check them out. They're pretty cool people too. They like a lot of stuff that me and Rob like, like uh, My Hero Academia. Um, then the last person uh, I met through Rob as well. His name is BRZ. Well, he goes by BRZ, and he's uh, his channel is called BRZ Pop Hunter. He does a lot of Dragon Ball stuff, a lot of My Hero Academia stuff. Other stuff as well, like Pennywise stuff. I, I've, I've watched quite a few videos of his. He does really well for himself. He also has a really awesome logo. Holy moly, is his, well, I'm just jealous of your logo. <laughs> um, and he also went to New York Comic Con this year and uh, pick us some pops up there. And he's always showing his pictures before and uh, when he went to the event and whatnot. And I was very, very jealous. Mm-hmm. So, yes, BRZ, Justin Moore from Pop Solology and his wife. And then um rob molina so i will link those all in the description below but if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you want to comment down below which team was better or did you like you want the team together to fight this ultimate foe yeah that's the married life yeah and we gotta fight together mm-hmm. yeah we can take on anybody mm-hmm. what was your favorite pop of the heroes and which was the strongest in your opinion and uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss anything coming out in the future, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything and continue whenever we go, you know, put up a new video. Mm-hmm. Did you so. say it twice this time? No. <laughs> oh, I, I love him. Off. I really do. <laughs> I'm goofy. But yeah, till next time, keep living. Loving. And collecting. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.